Welcome back to another episode of Big John's Cooking. Today we're doing a chicken sauce piquant. Stick around. Alright, first off, we got our chicken. Some people just do thighs. I'm I got a cut up chicken here. I'm doing thighs and and breast and wings. Uh my wife is uh let me get this washed right quick. She does not like dark meat, so we're gonna give this a quick rinse. Sorry about the noise, y'all. Kind of under pressure here. Get everything cooked up. It's supper time. Alright, we got our chicken washed up. We're going to season it up right quick. Using that Creole seasoning Tony says it ran. Season that up real good. Set this chicken to the side. Oh, this pepper. <coughs> oh, it got me. <coughs> Excuse me, y'all. All right, next step. All right, let's get started here. Add a little oil to a pan. So we're going to brown that chicken. Some tongs here. Go. We'll probably have to do this in batches. Let this go for a few minutes. We'll bring you back. All right. Give that a turn. Make sure I don't burn my hand. Now we don't want to cook this all the way through because it's going to cook some more in the sauce. So give it a good browning and we'll bring it right back. All right, I'm going to take these out, set them to the side, put it in the next batch. There we go. I'm going to add a little bit more oil to this. That'll make it about, about a half a cup there. And we're going in with a half a cup of flour. And we're just going to stir this around. Mix this in real good. And this is going to take a while to get our the color that we want. So I'll bring you back when the, we ain't got a decent color up on this roux. All right, that's as dark as I want my roux to be. You can make it darker if you want, but this is good for me. 
So I'm gonna add my mirror flower in there. A little more liquid than I wanted. But that's fine. Let this cook down a little bit. I got some, some chicken stock here and I'm, I'm going to use to uh, make my liquid. Thin it out a little bit. Homemade chicken stock. Sink. This is stir. Now we may or may not have to add any more liquid there. Uh, I'm going to be using crushed tomatoes. Since I've used the roux, if you're not going to use the roux, then you would go with uh, tomato paste. Same results, just a, just a different way of thickening. All right, I'll bring you back here in a minute, and just come back up to heat. Okay, I am going to go with a small can of tomato paste and add crushed tomatoes to that. Get that a stir. Get that mixed in real good there. Add my crushed tomatoes. Taste this for seasoning. It definitely needs seasoning. Add some salt there. And I'm gonna toss in me some garlic. It's that last minute. It definitely Definitely need some garlic flavor going on there. And you probably say, ooh, that's a lot of garlic. I love garlic. Love garlic. All right. Toss our chicken back in. Turn my heat down just a little bit. We're gonna let this simmer. It's gonna go for about 45 minutes. Chicken and all the accumulated juices. Toss that in the sink. Set that down inside there. Cover it. We're gonna come back and check on it periodically, but it's definitely gonna cook for about another. Well, I said 45. That's kind of long. Another 20 minutes. See you in a minute. All right, she's ready. Looks absolutely delicious. Plate this up, and I'll bring it back. You can sit down and munch. In results, it looks good. It smells delicious. Taste. Mmm.
You can put this over rice. Pretty much anything. I decided to go with pasta. And actually, this tastes better than spaghetti sauce. So if you like this, give me a thumbs up. Tell a friend about me. Subscribe if you haven't. Leave me a comment, and I'll see you on the next one.